is good. My anime faithful one is good. Yo, oh, guys, 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 I am seeing the light. <laughs> um, with the eighth sun this week, I'm pretty sure a lot of people can understand where there's potential in this show. And if not, that's okay, because I definitely, uh, I was definitely listening to some people's overall questions about this show, or their overall hot takes, I guess you can call it, and they were kind of disappointed in the grand scheme of certain characters just felt like they were there for whatever reason, and to be fair to them, I said... It, the show hasn't been out that long for it to be uh, for it to have to have put out every single character to be flushed out already right like not only is this show about the eighth son and about a character who's been reincarnated it doesn't even feel like he is reincarnated at times just because of the way he kind of carries himself and the way he kind of uh, takes everything in feels almost as if he's just someone who uh, who's been in this world before or he's relatively already kind of used to it thanks to being so young oops being so young and having a lot of experience on a on a young age it just feels like he belongs in the world more than he's an outcast, in my opinion, which I didn't expect that. Um, like, I honestly didn't expect it to feel like he has already practically fit, fit in as well as he does. And then now it comes down more or less to what does that do for the overall show at the end of the day? when he finally brings up moments of like oh yeah i kind of wish i had stuff from my old world you know like we didn't even really have an understanding if there was any of that there you know so that was kind of the nice part i guess you can say because we got a better understanding of just how much of the old world he kind of misses because as of right now it's like he doesn't even care for it right like he's just like eh I, I do miss this old world and I miss like soy sauce and stuff but he seems to be in a position where since he's been here for so long it's this world like a part of him right like it's almost like he himself has become so much closer to being one of these people in this world that nothing really throws him off so to speak when it comes down to um, certain types of battles or just certain types of people who you know live their lives uh, for instance like the nobles lifestyle like that doesn't really throw him off all that much oh that's how I do that okay say less oh maybe it's because I was in the air but regardless I really do like this show uh, unlike the Chronicles, the Zero Chronicles, it doesn't feel nearly as slow as like the build up and getting to the parts where we're going to learn just how much more is coming from all of the, the, the situation at hand. I feel like we're getting that stuff relatively quickly compared comparatively to certain shows. So at least that's nice. Um, the only other thing that I kind of saw being weird in this show was the fact that he he is in a place, he's like in a different world where like he should have expected marriage and stuff like that to be treated in a different way. But because he didn't, he winds up being in a position where he might not want to be uh, just because of how the situation is at hand. Not only does he have to pretty much marry this uh, holy saint woman, but if he does marry her, it's going to lead him to a position where he's going to have to, you know, always have her around, protect her, but the thing about that is it comes out that she has some type of magic and some type of 
ability. So, the whole entire guarding her thing doesn't actually, you know, seem to be that big of a deal. Um, I don't know. I think... I think the show has been doing a pretty decent job of just expressing that a lot of these characters have some subtle, uh, like some subtle hints towards them being, you know, worth, worth the uh, companionship of, we of well, and what that, I mean that whatever they kind of bring to the table, they kind of just compliment him and make it easier for his abilities right like he doesn't need to have a sword and shield because he has someone that could that already is going to do that he doesn't need to pretty much rock any weapons he could just fly around and cast magic if he really wants to and he would be in a stronger position but like i'm saying all of his people kind of cover all of those bases and all he has to do is make sure they're ridiculously powerful and he really won't have to worry about um you really won't have to worry about his teammates if they have, you know, as much training, as much, like, crazy magical items. For instance, he found this ring in the shop and gave it to his fiance, And just because he gave this thing to her and it had the uh, properties of pretty much holding it magic, he starts pouring in his magic into the ring. And it shows us just, like, this crazy, like spiritual like space and stars and it almost look like a galaxy or something we were looking at um i'm not talking about the phone so everything that kind of has been showcased of what's possible in this world i feel like they can use any of these moments to really be like oh and the reason why we showed you this was because and then they kind of just give us an expo uh, exposition and make it even make more sense. And can anyone else tell me why I kind of feel like the grandfather was... He seemed evil the whole time, right? Like, he seemed relatively devious, I guess I can say. And I was a little bit concerned, but then after a while, uh, my concern turned more into, like... Uh, questioning like I was just questioning why he wanted like he was looking so forward into this but then we get a little bit more information that all the people he's chosen so far have treated her like a saint so instead of seeing her as a woman or as a normal girl and allowing her to just enjoy herself be flirted with unintentionally at times <laughs> like I, I don't know how many times this guy has said very nice things to her unintentionally what it feels like anyway and pretty much just be like oh well yeah I I think you're really pretty and this and that <laughs> I'm like bro if, if you really don't want to be in a relationship with her you're saying all the wrong words <laughs> but of course I think he actually wouldn't mind it um, not only is she super pretty and beautiful she has a lot of stuff going for her in this world already and to think that he's just now being called a saint and she's been dealing with it you know since younger than 12 this girl is 12 by the way like what if 12 year olds look like that when i was 12 let me tell you we would all be getting engaged we would all be signing our signing our papers now and then around 15 we will be stuck for like already three years so he's living a good life and he doesn't even know it <laughs> but overall everybody i hope you're having an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be when you're watching this i will definitely talk to you guys sooner than later with some new stuff and i hope you all are here to watch it so with all that being said talk to you later peace